Welcome to another Daily Dose of Advent. My name is Rev Rich, and as always, I am so grateful that you are here. I hope you joined us Sunday as we lit the last candle for this week of Advent, and yesterday for the Daily Dose and the Monday Meditation. With that being said, as always, um, <clears throat> subscribe, like, share, make sure that others get the message. Again, every day is not the same message we need to hear, but every day somebody needs to hear a message to help them grow further into their own divinity, into their own spiritual growth. With that, we continue with the book, A Christmas to Remember. Again, go to unity.org where you can find it, and they will send you either an electronic copy, which you can download immediately, or send you the physical copy. I like to have the physical copy. And as I said once before, when in one of our episodes, I will pull out all the other books I have there to show you that, you know, Unity does publication. So feel free to request not only this book, but any other books that you can see and donate as you can. Today is Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. We're inching our way toward Christmas. I hope you're excited, you and your family. And if you're not, because there are some stresses, that's why this week is joy. You know, we've moved through faith, we've moved through love, we've moved through peace, and now we're celebrating our joy this week as we move forward toward that. Also, remember, if this is the only show you're watching on Friday, um, we will have a live, um, excuse me, we will have a, what we call our candle lighting ceremony, where we celebrate the 12 powers of Christmas or the 12 innate powers which help us birth the Christ within ourselves or that enlightened divinity within ourselves. It is the, what the white candle represents. So you can join us on that day. It will premiere. So make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell because when we do go ahead and get that video playing on Christmas Eve, I want you to be there to enjoy it with your family as my family will be there to share it with you. So today's article from the book is written by Reverend Elizabeth Mora. Um, and let's go ahead and read it. And she says, years ago, I cleaned out Christmas. The mashup of, <clears throat> mashup of all the small items I had inherited from family or brought at a garage sale didn't work anymore. As I discovered what the holidays meant to me as an adult, I created my own style and memory. So out went the old stuff. It felt great. Until regret kicked in, my mother asked where the Wizard of Odd ornament was, were, and I wished I had kept the old swan and poinsettia vase from my mother-in-law. Maybe I'd gone a little too far. One item in particular kept coming to mind, a cardboard container decorated with a Christmas reindeer merry-go-round that once had been filled with hard candy. I believe my grandfather gave it to me, although I can't say for sure. He probably picked it up at a Shawnee's on the drive to see us. Nothing special, but I remember it every Christmas and I missed it. It nagged me at, it nagged at me so much that I finally went searching. There it was on eBay. Sweet memories of grandpa flooded back. My heart kept, my heart leapt with joy and tears filled my eyes. A mouse clicked and $15, an identical Christmas box once again mine. It's all if all my happy Christmas memories are in that merry-go-round. It is a touchstone for happy times, and it is a part of my grown-up decorations all year long. And she shares Psalm 98.4 with us, which is, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Once again, here's something that we talk about, finding the areas of joy in your life. You know, a lot of times we look at things, and I literally just had this conversation a couple of days ago. We look at things like, oh, we don't need it. It's about decluttering. It's about this. But there are certain things that maybe they don't have any use, but they do have a memory use for you. You know, I talked about how on one of my birthdays, one of my daughters had drawn me a super dad, and I had it on my office wall. And after the pandemic, and we had to collect our things and bring them home, and I had a pending layoff at that point, I had brought it home. And when she was in the room with me and pulled out the stuff I brought from work, she saw the drawing and her face lit up. Oh my God, you still have this. How many things do we have that sometimes we discard as nothing, but then realize later it brings back a joyful memory, even in those times where you don't feel that joy or can see joy in that moment. 
And it could be as simple as a flower, a picture, a song. So keep the memories alive around you and remember that it's easy to throw it away, but sometimes it's even harder to remember why you kept it. But it is important. So with that, let's go to our affirmation. I remember the simplest of gifts can bring the greatest of joys. Once again, I remember the simplest of gifts can bring the greatest joy. And one last time, I remember the simplest of gifts can bring, uh, bring the greatest joy. And it is so true. Look for the simple things in life. And this Christmas season can be the best one you've ever had. So with that being said, love you. Nothing you can do about it. And as always, I will see you tomorrow for another Daily Dose. Or as well as our Truth Talk. I mean, uh, yes, later on today for our uh, Tea Time Truth Talk. So I bid you namaste.